today with little Miss Layla here and I wanted to come and do a video with my little girl because she has been looking all sad since she has a new sister say hi huh, it's just sad so I wanted to come and spend some time with her today and do a video with her and there are some aunties out there that love this little girl as well so I figured okay today we will do a video with little miss Layla here and I'm just putting some lubricant on this bottle nipple and this is the lubricant I'm using Dr. Sheffield's for anyone that might be wondering what I just put on her bottle nipple for it to go in her mouth a little easier. Um, I'm hoping I don't have to pull on her lip. Sometimes I don't. If I put that on, there it goes. So that just makes the bottle kind of go in their mouth much easier. And so it is sun. No, it's not Sunday. Oh my goodness. Monday. It's Monday. <laughs> Monday evening. And this nursery is quite warm in here. I'll just put the camera down on Layla. And you can see my little Micah over there in the mama room. Um. So you guys can see Layla while I talk. And I'm going to change her. I had put her in this long sleeve onesie. I think that was like Saturday. And I was planning to do a video with her today anyway. So I figured I'd just put her in the onesie Saturday. And now I want to change her into an outfit today. I'm trying my best to let these babies wear these outfits this summer. Because... Last summer, I bought a lot of outfits and they did not really wear them, especially Layla. She didn't really wear her outfits. So, I'm like, I spent money on them. I need to let them wear them. So, anywho, I am going to change her and I wanted to chat a few minutes about always the question I get. Where do I get my dolls? <laughs> my number one ask question of all time um and it the question comes up always when i get a new doll that is the number one question so of course since i got my new baby a couple of days ago last week well actually it's almost a week ago already my willow awake baby girl destiny she came home last uh, what day was it? Well, it's only been since Thursday, so it's not a week yet. I'm rushing it. It's not a week yet. <laughs> but um, since she came home, I have definitely been getting a lot of questions again on where do I get my dolls? So I figured I would come and share that again. Um, People message me privately and ask that question a lot. Or sometimes they'll ask me under the video that I'm doing. Or they'll ask under my Instagram posts. So now I'm beginning to tell people to come over to my YouTube channel if they are not already following me on YouTube. Say if they're on Instagram or Facebook or whatever. I'm telling them to come over and watch my videos. And all the time I talk about where I get my dolls. So that way I don't have to keep re-explaining it to each individual because it takes a lot of time to keep, you know, explaining the same thing over and over. So I figure if you come over, go to my channel homepage, click on playlist. I'm going to also add this video once I upload it to my playlist of where and how I buy or shop for my dolls. Um... As most of you who already watch me, you already know, but there are a lot of new people trying to come into the hobby. So I'm really sharing that information for new people. So most of my dolls for the past few years, have, my silicone dolls have been by Claire Taylor dolls. 
I will put that under the video in the description. I will repeat it again. The artist, the sculptor is Claire Taylor Dolls. Now this baby I'm holding, Layla, she is from the Dwayne Awake edition by Claire Taylor. And Claire Taylor Dolls is her full name. Claire Taylor Dolls. She has a YouTube channel. So I advise anyone who is looking for one of her dolls or you're interested in her dolls, definitely go and subscribe to Claire Taylor Dolls' YouTube channel. That's the first thing because she puts videos up as she releases new dolls. She shares videos. Also, you can look at videos of dolls that she's already made in the past. So you can see all of the dolls up to this point. You'll see the different dolls she has out there, the different sculpts. And I'm going to pause just for a second. Okay, I'm back. So, I'm going to burp little Miss Layla here. So, as I was saying, so the first thing you want to do is subscribe to Claire Taylor Dolls' YouTube channel. And when you watch one of her videos, you just go under the video to the description and you'll see where she has the link. Usually in her description, there's a link to her website. And her website is also cleartaylordolls.com. So then you want to go on her website. And the first thing you want to do is subscribe to her mailing list. So that way, when she's releasing new dolls, she will send out a mass email to all of her subscribers to her mailing list. So you'll get an email and it'll tell you which doll she is coming out with. So definitely you want to go subscribe to that mailing list. Number one thing right there. And for a long time, I before I got one of her dolls, I did not really know like how do you get one of her dolls. So I understand when people are asking that question because I was in the same boat at one time. And it was like a mystery, like, how do you get her dolls? You know, so finally when, before this baby, I got this baby brand new from Claire Taylor. And she's a custom made full body silicone baby girl, anatomically correct. She is the new soft silicone. She's not marshmallow silicone, but soft silicone. Very soft and flexible amazing silicone and she has a drink and wet system um she has the squishy tummy as you can see she is just a beautiful baby amazing and so far to date um i've been collecting almost about seven years at this point of collecting dolls and this is the only one out of all of my claire taylor dolls that i managed to get directly from clear taylor brand new custom you know made just for me all of the rest of my clear taylor dolls are all off the secondary market so let me say that so the first way i just described is if you want to get a new clear taylor doll you go to her channel definitely subscribe go to her website subscribe to her mailing list if you're interested in a brand new Claire Taylor doll. But if you want a second hand or secondary market or use Claire Taylor doll, there's many ways to acquire a secondary market Claire Taylor doll. So this is what I'm going to put on Miss Layla here. I had this for months. Finally, I'm going to try this on her from TJ Maxx. And I think it's zero to three months. Yes, yeah, zero to three months. Some stuff Layla can fit it in a zero to three months if it's not really, really huge or really, really long. She can fit it. Like onesies and rompers, she can kind of fit a zero to three months. But if it's something long, pants and all that, dresses and certain stuff, the one month size usually fits her the best. 
but this might be a little big on her like this shirt looks kind of long but it's going to be inside of the romper so i don't think it would matter and it's a mini mouse little romper i love mickey and mini theme clothes so anyway, now secondary market as I acquire the majority of my other babies, even my willows, they are new sculpts, the willows that I have, three of them at this point, my little willow triplets, which I will share with you guys this week in the coming upcoming video because everyone wants to see the three of them together. Um, everyone wants to see the girl and the boy willow awake together. So I definitely will share them in an upcoming video this week. Um, I've gotten private messages for that too. <laughs> so I haven't forgotten, guys. I'm definitely going to share them together. But anyway, although those are new sculpts, I got them still off the secondary market. Like I'm their second mommy or whatever. So I find for me... In most cases with my Claire Taylor dolls, I find them on secondary market. Um, I don't know. I'm, I just seem to be really lucky with secondary market. And that, a lot of times the dolls are more affordable on secondary market because you're buying them secondhand. In most cases. Not all the time. It depends on what sculpt it is and how old the doll is, or how sought after the doll is. So you have to be prepared that sometimes just because it's secondary market does not mean it's gonna be less money for it. Unfortunately, not all the time that's the case. Um, especially like with my Willow dolls I just got, they're all pretty much new. So I pretty much paid the same price for them on secondary market as if they were new. Um, but I got the Willow Awake and Asleep blank kits that were sold as blank kits and painted by different artists other than Claire Taylor. So that made them more affordable than, say, if they were prototypes that were done all by Claire Taylor. And that's a whole nother video. I'll have to put up some videos explaining that on my playlist. <laughs> Because I've explained that as well. And a lot of people don't know the difference between an addition doll by Claire Taylor and a doll that sold from a kit edition. This baby here, Layla, was from, she's an addition doll. She was from a completed edition by Claire Taylor. Um, they tend to cost way more money because it's less of them. They're more rare. Like with this baby, there's only five awake babies in the edition plus the prototype. So it's less of her. That makes her rare. And then she was also, all the edition dolls are fully completed by Claire Taylor herself. So that means when she sells them, they already painted, rooted, everything done to them. She poured them into silicone. She sculpted them, molded them, all of that herself, painted them, rooted, rooted their hair, everything herself. So this baby was so all completed. So therefore she costs more money because she's all done by her sculptor, her artist. Now with the blank kit willows, they were sold as blank kits to other people to paint them. Other artists painted them. So when you go searching for those babies on, especially um, when they were painted by somebody else, you're going to find that they are way more affordable than the prototypes of the Willow, say my Willows. The Willow prototypes that were all completed by Claire Taylor is similar to this baby because they were all completed by Claire Taylor. They cost way more money. Whereas the one sold as the blank kits and painted by somebody else is more affordable. So that's a, just a little brief explanation to new people that are looking into getting Claire's dolls. Um, if you look on the secondary market, like myself, I find my dolls in the Claire Taylor Silicone Babies Facebook group a lot of times. I advise you to go and request to join that group on Facebook if you have not already joined. Because a lot of times in the group, people will put their dolls up for sale right in the group. So you will see it first. And all of the dolls in the group 
are dolls by Claire Taylor. So if it's Claire Taylor's dolls that you're hunting for and looking for, that definitely I would recommend that you go and join the Claire Taylor Silicone Babies Facebook group. I'll put the name of it under the video as well. Um, I've found a few dolls in the group for sale, definitely. Um, you can get to follow the collectors that already have these dolls right in that group. So if somebody, you know, announces or posts that they're selling a doll, you can see it right in the group. Or you can, like I said, definitely try to follow people who have the kind of dolls that you want. Like myself, for instance, a lot of people follow me because I have the dolls that they are looking for and... If you followed me for a while, you know that every now and then I do sell my Claire Taylor dolls. I do sell my any of my dolls, really. Um, I will every now and then have one up for sale. So for myself, I definitely follow people who have the kind of dolls that I like. Because you never know when they're going to all of a sudden put one of the dolls that they have. And it may be the one you want and they put it up for sale. So definitely follow people on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, wherever they are and you like the dolls they have, I would definitely say go and follow them because that's surely what I do. And that is how I've gotten a lot of my Claire Taylor dolls. Um, honestly, just by following people who have them already, I fell in love with the dolls. So I was like looking for people to follow that had these dolls. And that's how I've gotten so many of them, right from other collectors on YouTube, Instagram, and on Facebook. Um, and that's pretty much it. You can also look on eBay because every now and then I have ran across a Claire Taylor doll on eBay. So you just never know where you may, you know, run across one of her dolls. So I would say, you know, look anywhere. It, it it becomes like when you're really looking for something, it becomes like a, a just like a second job. Because sometimes when you're looking for these dolls, you don't find them so easy. They're not available when you want them, unfortunately. So you just have to kind of keep your eyes open and just search. You know, do daily searches whenever you have a little free time. And just see if you can find, you know, a doll for sale. That's what I do when I'm really looking. Um, I will just search eBay, search Instagram, search Facebook. And I definitely keep checking in on people that, you know, that have the dolls I want to make sure if they're selling one or not. You never know when all of a sudden they decide to sell. I have also asked people that have the dolls I want. I'll message them and ask them, um... If you decide to sell, could you please let me know? And I know some people don't like that. Sometimes I don't like it, but I don't mind if people, t you know, ask me. Because I know how it is when you're looking. And I do keep a record of people who ask me about certain dolls I have. Even if I'm not planning to sell that doll right now, you never know. I never know when all of a sudden, boom, I want to sell one of them. Usually when I sell one of my dolls, because I'm running after something else, I'm running after another doll and I want to sell that doll quick, you know, so that's when I go back to my little list I keep of who asked me about which doll. So definitely you can ask people. I mean, all they can say is yes or no. You know what I'm saying? You know, message them and say, oh, if you ever decide to sell such and such, could you please let me know? You know, I, I do that all the time. Um, and that's how I've gotten a, quite a bit of my dolls by doing that. Um, so it's, it's nothing wrong with it. <laughs> they can message you or they may not. But so far, I've been very lucky when I've asked somebody and they tell me they're going to let me know if they're selling a doll. They actually do let me know. That's another thing going into a whole nother topic. When you're looking for these dolls, you have to be prepared. And when I say prepared, I mean financially prepared. And that's a whole other topic. You can't go searching for something and then, God forbid, you find it and you don't have the money ready. <laughs> so you want to be prepared. Um, and definitely, if you're not prepared, 
ask, you will find out you get disappointed because a lot of times people are looking for the dolls. They're not prepared. And what they're looking for is a layaway. And there's nothing wrong with layaway, but unfortunately, a lot of people, they don't want to do layaway a lot of times. A lot of times when I'm selling my own dolls, I know for me personally, is because, like I said, I'm trying to go after another doll and I need to do a quick sale. I need the money fast. So even for myself, when I'm looking for dolls, I pretty much am prepared to sell a doll for that, to make that money fast. I already know which dolls I'm going to sell if it came down to me going after something else I really want. I already have it planned which doll would I really sell if I wanted to go after another doll. I already have certain money set aside if I have to go in it to kind of add with whatever I sell the doll for. If I, if I don't have enough, I have money that I'm going to put with that money from the doll I sell. Or if I'm going to sell two dolls, then I already know, okay, I'm going to sell these two dolls if I'm going to go after another doll. Like right now, I'm not even looking for a doll. I'm good where I'm at. I have five full body silicone dolls. I'm happy with all of them. But I've already had, you know, planned in my mind, if anything else come out and I really want it, I already know which dolls I'm going to sell right now. You know, so you really have to have a game plan with these dolls when you're looking for them. And if you find what you want, you got to be prepared because the, the dolls sell fast too. That's another thing. Certain dolls sell fast. And if you're not ready, you miss out. You end up being disappointed because you wasn't prepared. So those are just a little tips on how I buy my dolls and how I go about it and their artists and how to buy them. That's just a quick little brief run through for anybody who has asked me that question recently. I figured I'd just go back over all of that. The rest of you who are seasoned collectors, you already know all of it. You know how it all go, but for new people, they really don't um, get how all of this works with buying these dolls and looking for them and all of that. There's just so many t um, parts of it that I can't even fit all of it into one video. And also there's the scamming part you have to look out for when buying and shopping for dolls. I'll go into that in another video briefly again. Most of us know all about that who've been buying dolls for a while, but new people don't know. And a lot of times is the new people that get scammed really easy because they really want the doll and they don't know where to look or what to look out for. So I will briefly try to re-go over certain things in, on this topic of buying dolls, um, looking for dolls. I'll kind of go over different things as I remember them in, in some upcoming videos and re-share the information. So anyway, guys, little Layla does fit this zero to three months. One thing with her, I noticed she can fit zero to three months pretty well if it's not a three months the three months usually those are just too huge on her but the zero to three months she can kind of fit them and her and her sister destiny will be sharing clothes for sure any three months or zero to three months if they both fit it they will be sharing them that is for sure but anyway, that is little Miss Layla, and we will see you again in another video, guys. So thanks for watching.